Tonight, the church arson suspect Holden Matthews is no longer in the St. Landry Parish Jail. Citing security concerns, Matthews has been moved to an undisclosed location. According to the fire marshal's office, the St. Landry Parish Sheriff's Office made the decision to move Matthews. Well, Matthews faces three charges of simple arson for the fires at St. Mary, Greater Union and Mount Pleasant, all historically black Baptist churches. Tonight, many question why he isn't facing a hate crime charge. Three's on the street tonight. Katie Easter joins us live at Greater Union Baptist Church with that part of our story. Katie. Jim, Marcel, so many people here in St. Landry Parish tell us they think that this is a hate crime. Although it might be true, investigators must first build a solid case. You don't want to make that call and that allegation unless you know you're fairly certain you can prove it. Former prosecutor Chester Cedar says just because Holden Matthews isn't facing hate crime charges right now, that doesn't mean it won't change. Matthews is accused of setting fires at three predominantly black churches. Race, gender, and religion are all factors that can contribute to a hate crime classification. You have to prove that the motivation was one of those classifications, and you know you have to prove that intent, that element. The charges could change as the investigation continues. You can't unfortunately go into someone's mind and, and figure out what motivated them to do something. You just look at circumstances. And they may have put on Facebook or social media what they may have told friends. You gotta look at a lot of other factors. And if convicted, Matthews could face up to 45 years in prison on his current charges. Threes on the street, live in St. Landry Parish, Katie Easter, KTC, TV3.